continuing the skid of items that Wacom sent us, thank you to Wacom for sending this one. Get it? One? This is the Wacom One Pen. Standard pen, white slash gray. This is what the box looks like. That's what comes into it. Let's crack it open. Yes, this is a 2023 release of this pen. I believe they've had this pen in the past, but this is the latest one. So that's all what you need to know about it. You twist it open, you put the little lanyard loop over there, the stylus loop, whatever you want to call it, so you don't lose your thing. Now, they said this has compatibility with the Remarkable 2, which basically means it works on everything else. So let's explore the box, put this off to the side till we... Whoa, that's in there. There we go. Put that over there. I believe we have our nib removal tool and a couple tips here, perhaps. Oh, what a cute little bag. Oh my God, look at that. It's the size of my thumb. This is the cutest little bag I've ever seen and it has tips. Wow, look at that. These are the gray palm tips. That is adorable. I did not know that was gonna be in there. And I believe this might be the felt composite tips because they'll give you two different styles. Uh, no, those look to be the exact same thing. They just give you 10 tips. Unless I'm missing something. No, nope, looks like just 10 tips. All right, so we have a little bit of an anti-static, kind of static-proof, canvasy looking wrap here. It's not plastic, it's kind of like a cotton felt compilations of sorts. You get a very nice matte finish on the whole thing. This is kind of like a off-white clay and then the back is more of a charcoal gray you get a loop for the stylus loop slash the uh what do you call it? the lanyard loop right there you know it might be in the bag actually and it is hidden in the bottom no it doesn't look to be in here at all so i'm not sure where they expect me to get that little loop thing but i guess maybe if you had one or if it came with your tablet because it's most certainly not located in here so that is the whole thing let's clear the area here before we bring in our remarkable two and it looks like you do get a button is that you know what there's actually two buttons you can press them both down individually and they click down so that's really nice i believe you'd have a secondary and tertiary command and some devices actually allow you to do key mapping so that's really nice because you were able to do maybe highlight or eraser or selector tool or whatever you want now first thing we got to do before we get into this any further is weigh it we got our scale here and we have a good e-reader coffee mug filled with pens so we're just going to weigh a few of them here to see where this stands in the industry so this is the onyx air pen and everything is going to be weighed with the tip inside of course so you got 14 grams for that one let's do the big me pen with a laser pointer at the back this one is more of the heavier side because it does have a lot of kind of components in it that is 16 sony dpt rp1 pen just for fun 16 as well this is an aluminum build the onyx pen 2 pro this one's really nice as well 16 and one more let's just go outside the box apple pencil what are we sitting at there 18 now is this this Wacom going to be heavier or lighter? I'm feeling like this is going to be about 13 or 12 and we have 10. I was completely wrong. This is on the lighter side of things. In fact, it's lighter than the Dr. Grip and low enough to be considered near the kind of OEM Wacom pen, which is just kind of like the plastic build, which is around six or eight. Yeah. So this is actually on the lighter side of things. And you know what? You don't need that. That's just all plastic. All the component and actual PCB is right there. The rest is just for ergonomic design and for obviously holding it in your hand and giving you a little bit of a counterweight. Let's bring our Remarkable 2 into the shot and see if this works. I do not know if this will work because some of the Wacom Intuos and the bamboo pens actually don't work, so let's see. It does work. That's fantastic. Does it do tilt? Uh, that's more of a software thing rather than a pen thing. So let's see. I'm pretty sure it does. It does. So you have the pencil like that and you have the tilt like that. Okay, so that's out of the way. Does the secondary and the tertiary button work? Secondary button does nothing, but the tertiary button erases. It does. Okay. And does it feed off of what type of eraser you're on? Eraser selection or eraser? It doesn't. It just does eraser where you actually stroke aka stroke eraser but it does work everybody that's great let's write out a sentence or i guess a paragraph and we'll see what we can see in terms of our experience with it You know, 
I gotta say, much like the Dr. Grip we just did, it is more on the plasticky side. For example, if you use the Pen 2 Pro, which uses the same tips as the Remarkable Pen, I can't find the Remarkable Pen right now, but they're the same tips, these are the felt tips, you get a great deal of resistance. You can actually feel it through the pen, something we couldn't feel on the Pilot slash Wacom Dr. Grip because it had a big squishy silicone grip on it. But this one is all aluminum, for example, so you do feel it. Now this one is even lighter, but it's a plastic tip, which means it's going to be far more slippery. And this is, this is just a subjective opinion because I don't like the slippery plastic pen. I feel that it doesn't give you a realistic feel. It's just very noisy and it doesn't feel authentic because no pen would feel like that. It just wouldn't feel like that. A pencil wouldn't be that glidey on the page. It would catch the page, it would catch the paper fibers a lot better, which I believe the felt tip accomplishes quite well. This feels like a pencil. And it does wear down significantly faster than palm tips. The plastic palm tips last a long time. The felt composite tips, they wear down like crazy. And in fact, if I look at some of the pens here, you'll see that some of them are worn straight down to the nub. Look at that. That one's all worn down. And same with the scribe pen. So you do get a trade-off in that the felt tips feel more real. You get that verberation. You get that feedback. You can feel what's happening. This one's just very loud and glidey, and it just lacks a little bit of control. Some people like that, which is why people like the Apple Pencil on a glass tablet screen because they say they like the smoothness versus making it feel all kind of draggy like sandpaper. It's just a completely subjective thing that everyone is entitled to. This one is a palm tip. It is more susceptible to being a lot more glidey around the screen. If you're into that, this is the way to go. I feel that this has a lot of benefits to it. It has two buttons that some devices will be able to key map to, like the Fujitsu Quaderno, for example, they do dual key mappable buttons. And it's got a secret kind of overall design feature that you can put a strap on the back so you don't lose it when you have it connected to certain things. So there's a lot of benefits to this pen. It is brand new. It did come across our desk and we thought we would share it with you. This is the Wacom 1 by, you guessed it, Wacom. If you want to grab one of these, it is available in the store. Let us know what you guys think when you pick one up.